In this video, we're going to be going over the circumference of a circle. We will begin by defining a circle. We will explain circumference. We will define a diameter. We will explain radius. And we will define what pi is. And we will go over two different circumference formulas. To begin, a circle is a closed figure where every point on the figure is the same distance from the center point. The circumference is the distance around the circle. The diameter is a straight line passing from side to side through the center of a circle. The radius is half of the distance of a diameter. A better definition of radius is the length of a line from the center of a circle to any point on its edge. Pi is an irrational number and it is also known as a mathematical constant. You may be saying, well, what is a mathematical constant? Mathematical constants are numbers that arise naturally. Another characteristic of irrational numbers and pi is that in decimal form, they never end and never repeat. Okay, you get the point. We cannot put an infinite number into a calculator. So, we will get close with an approximation of pi. Here we have two approximations for pi. The first is a decimal and the second is a fraction. As you can see, our approximations are good for the first three digits. Here's our first formula. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times radius. Now let's make 3 be our radius. And we're going to plug this in to show how the formula works. So we have 3 as the radius. Pi we have 3.14. We multiply 3.14 by 3, we get 9.42. We multiply that by 2, we get 18.84 units. And here in America, that might be inches, it may be feet, it may be yards. Now we need the diameter for the next formula, which is pi times the diameter gives us the circumference. Now we want to use the fractions on this one, so I'm going to plug in 0.8 and the fraction form of 0.8 is 4 over 5. We're going to plug in our fraction form for pi, which is 22 over 7. We're going to plug in the diameter, which is 4 over 5, and we're going to multiply those. 22 times 4 gives us 88, 7 times 5 gives us 35. And we're going to put this down here, make it equal to the circumference. So 88 over 35 units is the circumference. And if we're over in the metric system, that would be centimeters or possibly meters or millimeters. That's it and thanks.